There is a hawk, a vulture, and oh, those blackbirds, they're not crows, I don't remember what they're called. Let's see if we got, I don't know if you can see it, it's up there somewhere, I, I can barely make it out in the video, my eyes are watering looking up, anyways, let my birds free range and and stuff just comes out of the woodwork here. I don't know where it went. There it is. <clears throat> so, as I'm... Ah, uh, my eyes are watering. As I'm looking on my phone for... Sorry, chicken. What I should uh, do for those baby bunnies because... Yesterday, you could tell that everyone had eaten by their full little bellies, and the, they did not look like they had ate um, the two blue ones. Anyways, um, I'll probably check the other ones again, too, just to make sure that it, because she went in there to feed them after I checked on them, the um, broken otter dough. Um, so I'm probably going to take them all in the house and feed them and then bring them back out and then later come in, bring them in the house, feed them, and take them back out. Uh, give them a chance. Kind of supplemental feeding while still leaving them in the main care of their mother. It's just too cold out here. My hands are so cold. Um to just come out here and feed them. I need to take them in the house where it's warmer. But anyhow, sitting here, and I hear one of them blackbirds calling. And I look up, and there's a vulture, and there's a blackbird chasing behind it. And then there's a hawk. I've never seen a hawk here. Something just flew over again. I don't know if it was a hawk or a vulture. <sighs> yeah, that one, I believe, was a vulture. So, yeah. I had said something to Wendell about how perfect it would be if we had actually set up some chicken stuff across the road. Um, I like... <coughs> excuse me having some loose out here to help with the ticks but don't want to lose all my birds uh hold, hold on oh the light and the fur from the rabbits tickling my nose and i sneezed I feel like i could sneeze again all right hush the chickens must be up by the front. The dog. Mark them. Um, yeah, something I had considered theoretically was letting extra roosters be loose because you don't. Uh, it wouldn't hurt if you lost your extra roosters. And then they could um, be helping keep keep the bug population down here. But these guys, I don't... Okay, this is... I wasn't going to say this yet, but okay. Um, sorry. The, that's part of the reason I drink coffee, because the caffeine helps. But, um... And I didn't have any coffee today. I had... Something else that I have. Matcha latte. Good stuff. But anyways. We are, are so behind on things. I know I already said this. But the fact that. I, I don't want to make them stay in their smaller areas any more than I absolutely have to. So when it's nice. We're going to let them out. And we also temporarily have that 
still enclosed and it's it's there's not enough air circulation um if we kept them in something like that we would have problems fast but yeah they're having a great time hopefully they'll kind of linger more over here um in the sheltered area not that a hawk couldn't come down right here and get them totally could if it wanted to i've heard him seeing a little hole in the top of a covered chicken run and going in that way so i don't have any disillusions about that i, I just know it it's, looks less opportunistic this way um so yeah i'm trying to let these guys i mean you can hear they're so happy they're all they're having a grand time out here and i like that like happy birds all right i have a couple other things i gotta do i got a lot of things i gotta do <laughs> I have a lot of other stuff I need to do, but I am, um, you know what, ow, the wire stabbing me in the back or else I'd be really, really comfortable. <sighs> well, this behind me, there will be tomatoes growing here. This is um, my tomato trellis, and out of the shot is an arch, which I intend to grow cucumber on it. Um, and where I was digging, or working, spreading stuff around, I'm definitely going to plant some corn there. Oh, I hope that's not annoying in the video because it feels good at the moment. It was so cold. I have like fleece leggings on underneath these pants, so I'm a little bit warm. Um, part of that was tough because it's not broken up all the way and I'm going to need to work on it more, but it is still, it is progress. It is a step in the right direction and I'm happy. I have let almost all the birds free range today. I have not, I've not let the guineas out or the three chicks that are in with them because no, I, I am not letting my little guineas and those other tiny birds free. They're like the size of songbirds still. So, um, right now the chickens can come in and out of here which I wanted and we will we're, we're gonna line this with chicken wire so I can let them come in here um, like right now I would I would have like all of them in here or as maybe not all of them It'd be hard to move all those little meat birds over here take all take a while but, um, yeah, you know, I, I've said it before that I and we, we even put a gate back here in the corner and I don't know, I don't know if we'll leave the hot wire up over there, the, the poultry netting, the electric netting, 
or if we'll put something a little more permanent around that to keep a few birds in and um, to let them come through here in the evening and debug my garden. It sounds really good. It sounds very appealing to me. So there's that, but yeah, letting them detick the yard. I think I might, you know, try and let one group free range, although this group staying up here, those two groups are staying back there, so we might, might have to let, you know, birds go on both ends of the yard, but uh, to help with the ticks. None of us had had any ticks on us the past few days after having all the birds moving around. Alrighty, I'm gonna figure out what else I'm gonna do before I go in the house and do stuff in there. I was a little surprised. Yeah. Come over here, seeing the gate was closed. And I realized all of them are in there. How are, how are all the birds in there, Gwendolyn? Because I put a few in there so they, so I can distract them. Then, and then I was chasing some in there so they can eat. And then I closed the gate. So you put 60 plus birds up all by yourself? Yep. You feel good about that? Mm hmm Yeah, you did a good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Big enough? Oh yeah. yeah, let me see it. Yeah, it's big enough. It is big enough. That's like a perfect one. Oh, like, that one is not big enough. Why didn't you stop this? It's one unit it's, tall. It's one unit tall. Let me see. It's one unit tall. Oh, that was a tiny one. I might just throw that one to the chickens when we've got all this. There's How about the rest of them? <gasps> There's one more right there. Can you get it? I got it. Down here. Oh. <gasps> it's so big! It's so big! If I, I think this one is 14 units tall. It's 14 units tall? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah? I got this for a well drink of water. You got that flower a little drink of water? Yeah. It's not how it works, but okay. And that blue bucket mm -hmm. in the dark water. Mm hmm There's one more radish back there. You gonna get it? I that's this one. Uh, uh, uh. Uh oh. All right. It's, a, it's tiny too. Let me see. It's tiny too. It's kind of small. All right. You ready to go? Uh, There's one more. There. Where? This. This was one, but I didn't. I didn't do anything. So, just be there. I you can feed that to I the think bird. that wasn't radishes. I think that was going to a red spicy carrot. A red spicy carrot. I think it was going to get. Yeah, no, it's not. But that's not a bad thought. Anyways, are you where's, ready to go help me make some soup with this stuff? Um, let's feed that tie on to the chickens. Okay. Let's feed. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, wait, what's this garden for, Booney? The turkey's talking. I can't. What did you say that this garden was for? I, I go to this. Yeah, I know, but... I said it's for all our plants. All our favorite plants, huh? That's yeah. what he said. Goodness, the turkey's talking. Yeah. Gonna grow plants? Are gonna grow there. Radishes are gonna grow there, maybe. Yeah. And a lot of radishes will go over here. How about some corn? Corn over here? Yeah. I like corn. Yeah. You like corn? A lot of corn were going out yesterday. And the uh. bunny thing that's coming out, that's corn. No, we didn't plant any corn yet. Any yet? Nope.
we'll plant some stuff really soon. Maybe in like a couple weeks and there'll be lots about, of plants. Let's, let's get you a little um, water in it and plant some corn over there. That's not a bad idea. Put some water in there so we can plant some corn. All right. Well, come on. We got to go cook some dinner. Cook some dinner? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll bring you your jacket. She left it hanging on the fence. I left mine hanging on the fence. Just went and got it. We got a handful of vegetables and stuff under here. I am about to go in and cook some dinner. A little late, but oh well. I gotta get get on. I get uh with the program where for um near, near, near. <sighs> crock pot meals. I used to do a lot of cooking with the crock pot. I liked it. It worked great. Um, I, I feel like I need to do that again so I can get some good dinners in. Okay, Gwendolyn. Okay, Gwendolyn. Oh, okay. All right. Well, oh, hello, Cherokee. No. All right. Well, bye. I'll talk to you next time.